Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to downgrade from iOS 15 slash iPadOS 15 to iOS 14 slash uh, iPadOS 14 step by step without losing single data. So let's get started. Guys, from here, from family tech help you master in technology. If this is first time, you click all the latest tech tutorial, then click the subscribe and turn the bell. So I didn't send a featured video. Okay, so before I start doing this tutorial, I just want to say, guys, we are so close to hitting 700 subscribers. So if you need my channel, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell. So I didn't send a featured video. So as you can see here on my iPad, I'm running the iPad OS 15. So in this way, I'll show you guys how to uh, uh, downgrade it. So this is exactly the same process for uh, iOS 15 because it's like the same thing but there's a kind of different so in this video i'll show you guys how to uh, downgrade step by step without losing any data so first thing you need to do you know open up your computer you can use windows 10 or mac uh to also if you're on windows 7 and 8 you still you can use it so first thing you need to do you're gonna come to the uh, this website link so this is if you don't know it's called the five tech the easy why you guys if you if you want this it will be in the description and also the pin comment so just tap on the link and then it is gonna go to this page to that just tap on links so after you tap on links you're gonna get two options so just uh, ignore all of those because mm, those like the other stuff in this video you're gonna focus on two itunes and ipsw so, so just tap on itunes and then it's gonna go to this page right here so now you're gonna get itunes because if you're on mac it, then obviously you're gonna have itunes already but if you are on windows uh, then just you download itunes after that you're gonna uh, go back to the website and then you're gonna press on ipsw so this is why you're gonna get the file uh, the uh, iOS 14 file. So as you can see here, there's a term thing you can you can choose. So if you're on iPhone, choose that iPad, uh, 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 then the iPod Touch. So just tap on iPhone and then choose the version uh, you're on. But for me, I'm on the iPad, so I'm gonna just tap on iPad, then just choose the version. As you can see here, for me, it's iPad 8 Wi-Fi. So if you have the Wi-Fi or cellular, you can choose that as well. So just tap on it, and then you're gonna see this check mark. I'll just cross it that because if you check check mark uh, that means is is signed as you can see here this means is signed if you don't see a check mark that means it's not signed as you can see here all of those like the 14.5.1 14.5 14.4.4 4, those are all not signed so that means those are unsigned so if you try to get those it will not work so go on the top tap on this you tap on the uh, signed one and then go down and tap on download just tap on it because if this didn't work just copy this copy that url and then put a new tab and click on paste and then just click on save as you can see i already have this download after that is done now, now we're gonna open up itunes this after you download itunes you're gonna see something like this now we're gonna plug in our device but be, be, before i do that this is a, re a really important step you need to do on your ipad you're gonna tap on the uh, profile so the first thing you need to do on the ipad you can open up your setting then you're gonna tap on this your apple id then you're gonna tap on the uh, uh, find my just tap on the find my and then make sure this is off if you don't turn, turn this thing off it will not work so just make sure this is off turn it off and then it's gonna ask for your apple id password so just put that in because after you turn off the find my iphone on your iphone slash ipad now you're gonna hit on cancel and now just say ipad logo right here if you don't see it just give it a few seconds until this thing show up okay, so this can take about a few seconds to just to show up so or just give it a few seconds until this thing the apple logo to show up i mean the ipad logo as you can see right here you're gonna just hit on continue then click on get started and now you're gonna see this because i'm gonna because after you turn up the find my iphone as you can see right here it's off and now you're gonna uh, plug in your device and now you should see your device show up right here so just tap on it tap on the iphone or the ipad and then you're gonna it's gonna go to this page right here you're gonna click on sh shift and click on restore but uh, before you do that i forgot to mention one more thing make sure you, you back up your device just tap on this computer and then click on backup right now because if you don't do this it will not work so make sure you back up your ipad right here uh, or, or iphone guys if you don't do this it will not work so uh, make sure you back up your device as you can see right here it is backing up the device so i guess i'm going to show a uh, first for this bit because as you can see here the backup is complete guys if you don't back up your device it will not work so make sure you back up your device after that you're gonna tap on this restore and you're gonna press on shift and 
restore it just click on it at the same time and then click on click on the download file you just download it and then you're gonna click on restore as you can see it is gonna uh, restore from the iPadOS 15 to the iPadOS 14.6 Tap on it, I guess I'm gonna skip this part because it will take a lot of time. So after it's finished, now you're gonna see Apple logo and then it's gonna go to this right here. So now, just give it a few seconds now, it's gonna go to the uh, setup menu. Okay, so guess make sure you back up your device, because last time I forgot to back up my device, so that's why it didn't work. So that's why you make sure you back up your device, so your iPhone or iPad. Guess if you don't back up your device, it will uh, uh, not work. So guys, I tried it and it did not work. So you make sure you back up your device. Okay, so now it's brought to the setup menu, so just click on the home button and then now you're gonna see the iOS 14, but things you're not gonna have anything. So just click on the language, click on your know, state or, or your region, then click on the Wi-Fi and then put in the password. After that, just give it a few seconds and now it's gonna start activating. So just give it a few Guys, also if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like because it does help the channel. Guys, also make sure you click the subscribe button. So if you click the subscribe button, it will turn gray so make sure you do that and then get to get me to a 700 subscriber as you can see right here we're so close to hitting that so now we're gonna click on continue and we're gonna press on setup later press on don't use and for the password we're gonna do the same thing and press on don't use click on do don't use password right here you're gonna press on don't transfer app and data guys okay, so if you if you're moving from iOS 14 to a different like a 14.6 or 14.7 then you can just restore using iCloud backup but things using that you, you cannot do that because it is from the iOS 15 or iPadOS 15 to iOS 14 uh, or iPadOS 14 so just make sure you put in the same Apple ID that it used so I'm gonna come back when I do that after you put in the Apple ID and the password now you're gonna see you're gonna say put that so if you have an old device uh, then it's gonna ask for uh, the password so make sure you put that that is gonna uh, then click on next and then you're gonna see it's gonna start setting it up as you can see here it's really simple and then guess if you don't do this it will not work so we just need to do this and then we're gonna just uh, restore it now right here you just click on continue continue and then you can just uh, just press on continue and then just press on next press on don't share if you want you can do a uh, light or dark it, it doesn't matter for now and then click on get started now you're gonna see all the old app and stuff so now what are you gonna do you're gonna, you're gonna just put this to the side i guess also do not unplug your device now on on our computer uh, or mac if you if you're using mac now we're gonna go and we're gonna open up the uh, windows and click on r and then it's gonna button this right here as you can see it's gonna button about that right here Right here, as you can see, to open, you need to put this. Guess I'm gonna put the in the name of the screen and click on enter. And now you're gonna see it right here. As you can see, it's gonna go to this page right here. Right here, you're gonna just tap on the Apple computer. Guess after that, you're gonna click on the mobile sync. First, you're gonna click on the Apple computer. Then you're gonna click on mobile sync. Then you're gonna back up. Guess I, I already did this part. That's why for me, it's saying it's empty, but you're gonna see a backup right here. So you need to just tap on that backup, then you're gonna go all the way until you see the info. Guess I'm gonna put the uh, 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 screenshot in the screen so that when it, it you know what I'm saying. So you're gonna click on info, th then you're gonna open it with a notepad. After that, you're gonna control F and then you're gonna search for or something called a product and then you're gonna see 15.0 you're gonna change it to 14.0 and then you're gonna click on save after after you did that now you're gonna press on go back now you're gonna open up itunes again the right here now you're gonna see this and now you're gonna click on restore backup gonna click as you can say it's asking to turn off my a uh, find my, my device so as you can say here guess if you don't turn the thing off it will not work so as you can see, it is on again because the last time after we did the restore and after we did the thing, uh, and then we need to put this thing again. So just put in our Apple ID password. As you can see here, after you put in the Apple ID password, and then it's gonna uh, it turn it off automatically. So just put the Apple ID password, and now we're gonna see this thing off. Now click on OK, and now we're gonna press on restore backup, and now we're gonna click on restore and it's gonna start a uh, restoring so using this you're gonna have everything that uh, you, you got uh, right to your ipad yes it can as you can see here for me it's not about the uh, that much stuff so that's why it take a few seconds but thing is if you have like a loss of file and loss of photos and stuff it will take about few few minutes as you can see right here, it's gonna go blank and then you're gonna see apple logo as you can see right here your ipad 
been restored and then please give wi-fi connected because if you don't leave this connected it will not work so make sure this is connected a, a, a to your device and now gonna see apple logo and now if you see a, a now now she see is gonna do the thing so just give it a few second and you're gonna see lots of time it's gonna say unplug and stop it it's gonna do it for you as you can see here you're gonna see this so i'm gonna skip this part and then we're gonna uh, get to with the home screen uh, with the, on the edit store finish a uh, finish download as you can see here you're gonna see this because it can take few seconds to finish it okay so now you're gonna see the welcome just click on home button and as you can see here, it's saying that your restore is complete click on continue and now you should have everything so as you can see it's saying to put the touch ID and stuff guard we're gonna skip this part for this video and let's make sure you have password on your device because it does as you can see here now you can if you want you can put in the apple ID and stuff but we're gonna skip this part listen don't skip and then it's gonna do the thing and now click on get started then boom as you can see here this is my ipad and now this have ios 14 and also the youtube in it because if you don't know guys i i actually have to do this twice because last time i forgot to a uh, back up my device so th that's why now i just have only this but as you can see it is fully restored and then now you have everything uh, from start and if i just go to my setting and go to general and then go to about and then you should see it's running 14.6 so so that is it for this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you need to my channel and see you guys next time peace out